Hey guys, this is just a quick video of how you remove the uh, the Lexus GX 470, uh, Toyota Sequoia, uh, anything that's uh, having the system right here. Remove the motor without removing the whole assembly um, pump, and then you have to remove the whole unit. If you do if you do need to remove the whole unit, you will need to get the four bolt in here. One, two, three, four. With the, with the clips that hold down to the brake pedal and then you have to remove all this line right here the brake line that's the bolt right there one two three this thing is four um and then after that you have to bleach the sister just a pain in the butt to do that uh i found out the other way the quick way um to do that um <clears throat> is just remove the motor itself. And in order to do that, uh, the first thing is there's a Phillips screw right here. This, this is the positive. Remember that, it's the negative. Um, just black and red. Uh, this Phillips screw, that's the screw right here that hold those uh, connected together. You remove that and then there should be like a like a clip right here see this clip right here I took it out for you guys to see it easier um, this right here this this little clip this metal clip that hold it, this this pieces this pieces together okay so once you remove that out of the way um, up is remove the, um, the harness this one this one right here and this one right here so push it on the side like that and then there should be three screw right this style right here this one. there and this is the size right here this is a t i think it's a, yeah t20 t20 uh nothing special i mean the screw you, you can see it from where you where I stand right now. Um, taking it out, or just you know, those three screws that hold together, and once that take you to took that one out, just swivel it, swivel it, and then the whole thing come out. To put the one the new one in, just do the same thing, just re reverse it. Um, I'm not gonna do a video on that, so that should be like very simple. Um, the problem that I, that I have prior to this is that uh, brake don't work, it get hard. So in the case of the emergency that happened, I used the hammer and tap on this, this motor right here, and then it worked. Um, it was still work until now, but I just want to have a peace of mind and replace this. That way if, uh, you know, whoever borrow my car or drive my car, I don't want them to get into a car accident. So uh, by doing this, you don't have to bleach. You don't have to do anything. Just connect everything together, and then sh you should be you know, back on the road. Uh, to take this t this thing out, to me, 30 minutes. Uh, the tools that I have is nothing special. It's um, this right here. Just take out these two clips right here. This two bolts. Those are those are the 10 mil uh, flat screw. Uh, this is just a clips, uh, pickers, and pliers, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, this hopefully this helps someone that uh, they're having the same problem and save the money. If, don't bring this to the dealer, it will cost you an arm and a leg. Don't bring this to a repair shop either, it costs you a couple hundred bucks, at least 300 bucks. It cost me 150 bucks to get this on eBay. That's all you need. That's all you need. I right, hope this helps someone.